module 20 change in equilibrium due to factors other than price earlier we make a discussion about change in equilibrium because of change in price of one commodity if prime in last module we make discussion about the impact of change in price of apples on on the consumer's equilibrium but consumer's equilibrium will also change if there is change in factors other than price these other factors two main other factors that can contribute towards change in equilibrium is change in consumer's disposable income and change in price of related goods okay, besides change in price of apples if there is change in income of the consumer it also leads towards change in equilibrium similarly if there is change in price of related goods it also results in change in equilibrium when we make discussion about change in income impact of income on equilibrium depends upon the nature of good and in economics we usually categorize goods under these subheadings of normal goods and inferior good when we say a commodity under consideration is a normal good these are the goods for which a rise in income leads to increase in consumption of that particular commodity for example if we assume rice is a normal commodity then if income of household increases then consumption of rice will increase if we assume mutton is a normal commodity mutton is a normal good if income of the household increases then consumption of mutton will also increase because of increase in income of the household but there are certain commodities in real life that have some negative association between income and their consumption okay, if income increases it might be possible there is decrease in consumption of that particular commodity for example if we assume wheat and potato are inferior goods if wheat and potato are inferior goods then because of increase in income consumption of wheat will decrease similarly if potato is an inferior good if income of household increases then consumption of potato will decrease to elaborate the impact of income on consumers choice again we are using budget line and indifference curve in this diagram suppose bl1 is the original budget line this is the budget line where income of the consumer is equal to 200 rupees along bl1 budget line consumer is maximizing his satisfaction along ic1 indifference curve and along ic1 indifference curve he will choose combination b to maximize his satisfaction now if we assume keeping other things constant there is income of household becomes double because of that increase in income of the consumer budget line will shift outward okay, from bl1 it will shift to bl2 along bl2 budget line consumer can maximize his satisfaction along ic2 indifference curve along ic2 indifference curve he will choose combination c to maximize his satisfaction and similarly if we assume with reference to original budget line that we are depicting with bl1 the income of household decreases because of that decrease in budget line income of the household budget line will shift from bl1 to bl0 along bl0 budget line consumer is maximizing his satisfaction along ic0 indifference curve and along ic0 indifference curve he is choosing combination a of apples and oranges to maximize his satisfaction so keeping other things constant if there is change in income of the household there is change in combinations of apples and oranges that are being used by a particular consumer from this particular particular association if can income of the consumer increases from bl0 to bl1 okay, suppose if income of the household increases 
and we consider BL naught is the original budget line and BL1 is the budget line when income of the household increased then we can see there is simultaneous increase in the consumption of apples and oranges but when there is further increase in income that we are reporting with BL2 that is movement from BL1 to BL2 हम यहां पे देख सकते हैं कि क्वांटिटी ऑफ एप्पल्स दैट आर बीइंग यूज्ड दैट आर बीइंग दैट आर बीइंग यूज्ड बाय दैट पर्टिकुलर कंज्यूमर उसमें तो एक इंक्रीज आया है लेकिन जब आप ऑरेंजेस की तरफ देखोगे तो वहां पे क्या हो रहा है कि इनफैक्ट देयर इज डिक्रीज इन कंजम्पशन ऑफ ऑरेंजेस सो इन दिस फ्रेमवर्क वी कैन सी कि इफ इनकम ऑफ हाउस होल्ड इंक्रीजेस दैट वी आर रिपोर्टिंग विद बजट लाइन बीएल1 टू the income level bl2 we can consider apple as a normal commodity while in this case we can say for that particular consumer oranges is a inferior commodity okay because of increase in income consumer decrease the consumption of oranges and to show this association between quantity demand and income we use the concept of angel curve angel curve shows different combinations of quantity demand and income if commodity under consideration is a normal commodity then there is a positive association between quantity demand and income of the household in this diagram with reference to apples we can say apples is a normal commodity if there is increase in apple there is increase in income there is increase in quantity demand for apples but when we make discussion with reference to oranges we can observe up to income level 10 oranges act as a normal commodity okay there is increase in quantity demand for oranges because of increase in income but after income level of 10 if there is further increase in income okay if income moves from 10 to 20 we can observe there is a decrease in quantity demand for oranges so we can say oranges is an inferior commodity if income of the household lies increases from 10 to 20 so when we say a commodity is an inferior commodity it indicates that because of increase in income there is decrease in quantity demand for that particular commodity other things being constant the demand curve will shift rightward when income rises for a normal good so for example if we consider mutton is a normal good for a particular consumer then demand curve will shift rightward because of increase in income of the consumer in fact in this diagram we are showing relationship between price and quantity demand we are taking price on vertical axis and quantity demand on horizontal axis okay because of increase in income if our demand curve shifts rightward if our demand curve shifts upward it indicates that commodity under consideration is a normal commodity in case of mutton because of increase in income there is increase in demand for mutton but when we make this disc this discussion with reference to chicken it might be possible for that particular consumer chicken is an inferior good okay keeping other things constant if there is increase in income and because of that increase in income demand curve of the consumer shifts downward demand curve of the consumer shifts leftward then it indicates commodity under consideration is an inferior good hopefully in this module you are very much clear about the nature of goods that are being used by a particular consumer and we categorize goods under the category of normal and inferior good on the basis of its association between quantity demand and income if there is positive association between quantity demand and income 
commodity under consideration is a normal good. But if there is a negative association between quantity demand and income, then it indicates commodity under consideration is an inferior good. Thank you very much.